my name is Bree, and if you are new, hello. Thank you for watching my video or tuning in. And today's video, if you've seen the title, you already know what today's video is going to be about. And we're going to get right into the video. To show you guys what I already have, I do have my peppers here, my zucchini, an onion, which I probably won't use the entire onion. I might just cut that in half. I have my spaghetti squash. I also have one egg, spinach, ricotta, mushrooms. I'm not going to use all of these mushrooms, just some of them. Ground turkey, um, Mexican cheese. Since I couldn't find any mozzarella, I preferably like mozzarella, but I also can do Mexican cheese as well. As well as my sweet Italian sausages. Um, I love sweet Italian sausages. However, they didn't have the ground one, so... I'm going to just decase these. And yeah, let's get right into cutting this all up. Guys, I already have my oven heat preheated to 375. That is what we're going to use for our spaghetti squash throughout this entire meal. Okay, you guys. So I'm going to show you all how I cut a spaghetti squash. I don't know if this is considered the best way or most accurate. However, it works for me and the methods I saw online have worked for me. So I like to have the stem side facing me because it's easier to cut into the back. I have a really big knife. It's kind of sharpened, but not really that sharpened. So what you want to do is take it. You can do this on a cutting board or you can do this on your counter. My counter's clean, so I said why not. So you just rock it back and forth until it goes in. We are going to get rid of the seeds on the inside of this because we don't want any of this. Also, I already have my pepper here. Um, I'm not going to use any salt because I'm going to be seasoning the meat. Um, so I have my pepper. I also have olive oil. I also have a little Tupperware bowl that I'm using for right now to put the seeds in, you know, so I can throw it in the trash. And I have a really big spoon. You kind of want to make sure you have a decent sized spoon because it makes it easier to get all of this out. So we're going to gut this out. We're going to start off by scooping. This is literally all you do is just take it deep and scoop. It's so easy. Like it's really not as difficult as it seems. And it's okay if it gets a little stringy because, you know, that's just naturally how it is. You can pull it out because sometimes it might be a little bit stuck now I'm not no perfectionist neither am I a chef so if you are watching this video and you're more familiar with um, if you're more familiar with spaghetti squash then definitely teach me some techniques that I don't know however this is my method and way of doing it you just take the spoon gut it out as much as you can So I'm back from gutting them out. It was a bit of a test. Not as simple as I thought it was going to be <laughs> like it was usually, but um, I'm done with gutting it out. So my next task is going to be to take my olive oil and I like to lightly drizzle it on the inside, on both sides. And then before I put my pepper on it, I'm going to use my hand, make sure you don't have no jewelry on anything because you know, since you're gonna be using your hands to do this. Usually for me, I like to put the olive oil all around. I don't know if that's the proper way, but that's just what I do because I kind of like it when it gets a little crispy around the room. Now, my next step is that I'm gonna take my pepper and I'm gonna grind it. It all depends on how much pepper you want on there, so you will make your heart happy. Okay, so the next thing I'm gonna do, again, as I mentioned earlier, I already have my oven preheated to 375. I'm gonna take these and flip them upside down like this, and we're gonna cook them like this for 
45 minutes to an hour. And then after we cook them, I'm gonna show you how they look after that. So we're gonna go ahead and get right into cooking the ingredients and I'm gonna get this in the oven. I thought I would go ahead and show you guys how I do the sausages when I can't find brown sausage. So I got these, again, these sweet Italian sausages. They're cased. Um, so what I do is, you could do it with your hand, like you know, your finger if you wanna peel it that way, or you can do it with a knife. Again, please be careful with the knife. So you wanna take the knife Go smack down until the meat is exposed like this and then put this knife down because I don't want to accidentally poke myself and just peel the skin off like so and all of the meat is going to go right in there. So that way you can make yourself ground sausages and please don't judge the way I just used that knife. Italian sausage already you know finalized decased I have my meat here and I already put my seasonings on it and as you can see I already have my peppers um, and my onions and my zucchini and mushrooms already nice and cut up to go inside of here um, just to give you guys a glimpse of what I use I did use seasoned salt mesquite Italian seasoning I use garlic powder as well as chili powder and extra oregano, even though Italian seasoning have oregano in it, I really love the taste of oregano, so I put extra oregano in there. So now we're gonna go ahead and get this meat cooked up and then I'll be back. Okay, you guys, so I finally got all my meat and stuff um, cooked up as well as my peppers and everything is in. I'm sorry I didn't record me putting that in. And I realized that I did forget an item I forgot to mention the vodka sauce. You can use any spaghetti sauce that you want, but I'm gonna use vodka sauce and I'm gonna pour this in here. And yeah, and also you can use two jars if you feel like one jar isn't enough. Mm -hmm. Most likely I'm gonna use two jars, but I just wanted to mention the spaghetti sauce for y'all. Okay, so now I'm back. We have our spaghetti squash nice and cooked. And as you can see, I already spaghetti this, if you wanna say that. Also, um, I do have my meat and everything over here done. We're gonna put this into it, but first, I wanna show you guys how to spaghetti the squash in the event that you don't know how to do it. So you wanna take a fork, like, you know, whatever size fork that you choose, and you just do this. And because it's nice and cooked, you will just scrape it out like this. And just in case I didn't mention it already, after you put this in the oven, you wanna make sure that you put it in there for about 45 minutes. If you feel like it's not ready or done, then you know you can put another 15 minutes on it and it should be good. But just make sure that this is flipped upside down so it can cook faster that way. But yes, yeah, so you just spaghetti enough so you can put your sauce mixture in it. And then I'll be back to show you guys um, how I put the topping on it. So next what I'm going to do is spoon this sauce into the squashes. Alright, so I'm done spooning it into the squashes. Now, you can stuff it as much as you want. You will have extra sauce left over that you can use for spaghetti or if you make additional spaghetti squash like I am going to do, then you can also use that remainder sauce for that. So I usually, you can either just leave it on top like this and just pack it in, or if you want, you can mix it. I like to mix it so it's nice and already mixed with, you know, the noodle-like texture. And it's okay if it falls on the side, you could just, you know, scoop it back in or you can leave it like that. Either way, it's all gonna be eaten. And I'm just scooping just a bit like so. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish scooping. All right, so now I'm done mixing it up and I'm gonna push it to the side and I'm gonna show you guys how to make the top So, Okay, so to make the top that I'm gonna put on it, um, again, if you don't, if you guys don't remember, uh, you need your cheese, whatever cheese that you choose to use, which I have that here, your ricotta, 
chopped up spinach, one egg, but we're just using egg whites and you guys will see. And I have a bottle just to make it a little bit more simplistic. So I'm gonna do first, cause I'm gonna take some of this cheese right here. All right, so I took the yolk out using a water bottle trick that I learned from one of my friends. Uh, definitely can show you guys this if you wanna know how to do it. But I just have my egg whites and we're gonna pour that here. Now, it's no thing that says that you can't use the yolk, but I just prefer to use egg whites because it's healthier and I'm trying to go for a little bit more healthier meal. Then you're gonna take your ricotta, take your ricotta and put it in there. And you wanna do enough since you're gonna put this on top of your spaghetti squash. Now that I feel like I have enough, you're gonna mix it all around. I might have to add a bit more cheese because it's looking a little skimpy there. But what the egg white is going to do is hold the cheese as well as the spinach together so it can melt perfectly on the top. So yes, most definitely I have to add a little bit more cheese. Of course, you can take away or add to your own preference, but this is my preference. So now that I got my mixture all mixed up, you're gonna take this and scoop it onto the top of your spaghetti squashes. in the oven this is, should be how it looks a bit or somewhere around this again remember you can take whatever kind of cheese away you don't have to do spinach it's all up to you this is just what I do and I'm gonna go ahead and put this in the oven for like 10 to 15 minutes the point is not to cook it because it's already cooked you just melting the cheese and get it in nice and right also another thing I forgot to mention is I like to add paprika oregano as well as pepper to the top of this so I'm gonna go ahead and do that and then I'll put it in the oven. Okay, you guys, so after having it in there for 10 to 15 minutes, this is my finished product right here. Now, of course, if you want it to look a little bit more charred on the top than this, you can most definitely put it back in the oven or leave it in the oven, I should say. Okay, you guys, so thank you so much for watching. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I hope that I was as detailed as possible with the recipes. I am no chef, so I'm not perfect with this, with giving a certain amount of, you know, amounts and and whatever when it comes to that. And as you can see, I did end up forgetting to mention the vodka sauce, but that's okay. A lot of questions that I got is, can you make this a vegan or vegetarian meal? You can. You can simply take the meat away. You can take the cheese away. There is alternative for meat. You know, there's like meatless things that's like meat. Um, you know, you can even do black beans in it if you wanted to. You could do just veggies, just mushrooms, um, vegan cheese. It's all up to you. It is all what you want to put on top. You don't even have to put cheese on top at all. But I thought that I would make this because it was highly requested it when I put it on my Instagram of me making it before as well as my Facebook so again I hope you guys enjoyed this video and make sure you give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and yeah bye guys